Hey guys, happy weekend to you. I am here to do my part of the what's sold. So I'm gonna be doing it for the closing part of our store. I'm sitting outside right now because I need some sun since I'm always inside. And so I'm sitting on my back porch. But let's get to it. The first thing that I put on my list for what's sold for the past two months are these Vans Women's 7.5 Women's 6 Men's Vans. They're cheetah print and they were actually listed first for 5 bucks and they sold for 5 bucks and the buyer had to pay for shipping. And they ended up never paying for them so we put them back up and then they sold again for a pretty good price as you can see. The next thing that we're going to talk about is Brillante Vintage Embroidered Beaded Dress. It's a really beautiful dress. It had some small flaws to it, but it was definitely vintage and it was definitely gorgeous. And it went to Canada. Alright, number three is Hello Kitty Nightgown. I actually used to own this when I was little but I never wore it, so I'm glad it sold for a decent price. Number four, White House Black Market Dress. This one sold pretty quickly, I think within two weeks after I listed it, and I guess it is a pretty good brand. All right, so the next five are gonna be what sold within a week of being listed. It's so like, it could be like from a day to a week of being listed. So we have the Rock and Republic Shimmer Dress. They loved it. They gave us a positive review. I remember that one. Some J. Crew Red Plaid Shorts. I remember this one sold within like two days because it was J. Crew, and I put it at a pretty good price. Who wouldn't want those cute shorts, right? Next one would be Victoria's Secret Pink Logo Shirt. We get a lot of watchers on Victoria's Secret stuff, so Victoria's Secret stuff is still sought after not really like a lot but this one sold pretty quickly so number four tool text men's t-shirt this one sold pretty quickly as well i didn't really know what tool text was i don't i still don't even know what it is but i thought it was a pretty cool logo shirt so i posted it and it sold bcbg max max Sazria? i don't really know how to say it this BCBG, BCBG, BCBG dress sold pretty quickly. I'm really having trouble saying the title of this. I never really have to say it out loud, so. And a little bonus thing of what's sold. We've actually sold a good amount of our vintage hats that I got from an estate sale. So I'm pretty proud of that as well. Here are the pictures of them. They're really cute. And they were probably about from the 60s so I'm really happy that they were selling I think we only have about three hats left out of seven I hope everyone's having a great month and we'll see you later bye hey how's it going uh, just Matthew here doing my part uh, we're doing the what sold in the past two months uh, I'm just gonna do the top ten they're gonna be they're gonna go from price to interest uh, there's a mistake or two in there that we made warn you about um, let's see is there any other kind of reason to it not really so the first thing that sold was our too fast too furious soundtrack uh, it's vinyl sold for $24.99 and sold like a few days after we listed it um, which is pretty badass the second thing that we listed and sold was the Logitech C3 110 webcam. It sold on the 16th of June. Uh, it sold for $31. Little thing, cost five bucks to ship. Pretty great. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention about this is because, especially if you're doing storage units, sometimes you just kind of like grab, go, throw away. It's really good to like dig through some of this stuff because you never know what you're going to find. The third thing on our list is the two dresser and two nightstand. Uh, if you watched how we list big items, you'll probably remember seeing this. 
sold for thirty six dollars it's great um, this lady came up she picked up the grill she bought a couple of other things and then she let us know if we had other furniture we could um, just give her a ring and we don't primarily work in furniture so it's actually really nice to have somebody that we can sell for sell to for like a little bit and they re they'll repurpose it and sell it for a lot more it's really really cool um the next thing that sold is our round and round infinity clock it sold for 349 dollars and 99 cents uh this thing was huge uh, i think it was like 36 inches by like 36 inches by six inches and weighed 27 pounds super cool sold to somebody in japan and for those of you that are like, oh my gosh, Japan, that's like really far away. It's really expensive shipping. Not quite. We just pay to ship it to the warehouse centers in eBay. The buyer pays for the rest. So I think um, the one I shipped it to this time was in Kentucky. Still cost a lot of money, but it sold for $350. It cost $159 to ship. Um, because it was so big and so heavy and I also had to make sure it was padded right so it kind of upped the dimensions up a little bit and then did not want that thing to break. Our fifth thing is the B&H gift card. $50 card sold it for $44.99. Uh, this sold a few days after too. Uh, it sold on the 11th of June. This thing was kind of neat because the person messaged me and asked me if I could just send them a picture of the back of the barcode. A little risky, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little risky, but it's totally worth it uh, because this person left me a good review. Um, so the code went in great. I was a little worried that they, once they see the back of that code, they have that camera. I mean, I waited for them to pay for it first, but then they could, like, you know, ask for a refund, be like, oh, there's nothing in here, and try to scam us. But the person had really good reviews, I went with my gut, paid off. Pretty happy about that. The sixth thing is our hydration running belt. I wanted to put this in there because it is uh, one of 150 uh, that we have. We have 50 of, 100 of them are, in, are we're selling through Amazon, and then 50 of them we're selling through eBay, and we sold two in like almost a year. So kind of cool that 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 those are finally starting to sell. Uh, those two were sold like week after week to week, back to back. So, I hope they keep selling, because we bought a lot of them, and it costs us a lot of money. Um, always watch out for that. There's pros and cons to buying stuff in bulk like that. It's good, because it's easy. You don't have to make another listing ever again. These particular are really easy, because all we have to do is put them in a little envelope and ship. They ship for five bucks. We make five dollars profit each one. It's pretty good. The next thing we sold, this is the mistake I'm getting to. We sold the LG X Boombox speaker system, sold for $149, but we still lost money. Why? Because it cost $167 to ship. Yep, I done. That was, that was all me, by the way, of course. Um, you really got to make sure that you have the right boxes, have the right stuff, and weigh it correctly. I went by comparison shopping, pricing. Um, there was a bunch of them that were selling new for $199, and so I was like, well, it's used, it's missing, you know, a few things, a little wear and tear, I'll sell it for $149, you know, took good pictures, put a good description in, um, was not worth, some items are just not worth it to ship, just, so keep an eye on that. The next thing I like is the vintage bocce ball set, sold on the 19th, uh, sold for $37.50, I bought that for $7 at a thrift store. Very cool. Uh, cost, I want to say it cost like $12.50 to ship. So all in all, made $10 profit. It's not bad. The next thing are Dan Post ostrich boots. You might have seen that in our last um, unit video. They look like just cowboy boots, but they were made out of authentic ostrich skin. Sold for a hundred and nineteen dollars, I believe that's what I was gonna say on there. Very cool, nice find. T cost twelve dollars to ship, made a hundred bucks. That unit cost ninety dollars, so these boots paid for that. Very very cool. And last but not least, our Titanic postcard. The Titanic postcard 
Um, it's just interesting to me um, that it even sold for twelve ninety nine. Something that I just thought was cute and unique. Uh, definitely not something they make anymore. And yeah, that's it. Uh, this video is going to be pretty quick. The next video that we're going to make is the different seller tiers. Like if you're above standard, you're top rated seller, top rated plus, or below standard. Uh, which has happened to us. And we'll talk about how to, how to become a top rated seller. Is it worth becoming a top rated seller? What's top rated seller plus? And how did y'all get below standards? And what does that mean? Uh, I believe that'll be it for today. Y'all take care. Be goodish. Um, listen to your heart. And we will see you probably about a week.